gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Series 25 of the Spin Master Monster Jam Double Packs. Got a pretty cool set that we're looking at here today. Um, hopefully I'm back into the swing of things now and this video won't be like 30 minutes like my other, my past three videos were. <laughs> It's the uh, 500 subscriber special. All my videos are over an hour long now, so you guys better sit back, relax, and get ready to listen to this guy, you know, talk about monster trucks for eh, pretty much the rest of your eternity, so that ought to be fun. Um, anyway, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. We got some pretty cool stuff here. Total of eight monster trucks we're going to look at in today's video. This set of doubles packs is actually really good. Like, dare I say it, one of, before Spidmaster's uh, 2024 year of the uh, incident, that we've had recently they actually had some pretty cool stuff coming out in 2023 and uh this doubles pack series is actually it's fire like there's this is a good set like i i i really think that every single set that we got here is really good like good stuff good stuff but um and as you can see by the one that we're starting with here there is something huge in this double pack like massive in this double pack but uh yeah um that's something that I wanted to say, but I forgot what it was. It's either next week or the week after this, I'm going to be doing my, I'm going to be doing a video where we're going to take a look at some stuff that I bought on whatnot recently. So I want to do a huge video there because I actually just bought off of Facebook. I just bought a uh, bin. Uh, I paid 70 bucks for a bin of like 45 old monster trucks, like uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam monster trucks. Which is a pretty good deal like that's that's pretty solid and some of the stuff that's in there looks to be of you know, they all look of good quality and they all look to be you know not exactly uh cheap by any means they look like they're pretty rare but we'll we'll see when we do the video i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at all the whatnot stuff and then what we'll do is i'll put the box up on screen of all the trucks and then I'll open it and I'll just pull them out one by one and make it like, cause I, I, I kind of know what's in the box, but at the same time, I really don't. So it'll be kind of like a, a surprise, like just pull them out one by one and just see what's in there kind of thing. I think it'll be fun, but uh, yeah, that's that. And then the week after that will be uh, the 500 subscriber special, which will be the collection room tour, which I am really excited for. Cause you know, who am I as a die cast YouTuber? If I haven't shown off, you know, the uh the man cave if you know what i mean but uh, yeah we gotta uh, i'm gonna do the tour my room is kind of a disaster zone at the moment so you're gonna see kind of what i'm working on and stuff like that it could it might be fun it might be horrifying i might lose subscribers <laughs> from the disaster that is my bedroom but you know what it'll be worth it for you guys and uh yeah but anyway let's get into today's video we got the with the the thing that you're here for, which are the doubles packs. And the first one that we got here is Gravedigger versus Avenger. This is the first time that we've gotten Avenger in a doubles pack from Spinmaster. And on top of that, this is the only release of this specific Avenger. This, of course, is the Global Avenger. One that Jim Kohler ran at specific monster truck shows, I think in either 2022 or 2023. I can't remember. I think it was 2022. He ran this at a couple shows. This was not a, this by the way, is not a world finals. Excuse me. This is not a world finals paint scheme. This is a one off, a couple shows here and there. It's a sponsorship paint scheme, kind of like the uh, Detroit Lions paint scheme or the Garner's towing paint scheme. This is just a one off thing that he did. Not really a one-off. It was a one-off for the year. I don't think he's brought this back recently, but I don't know. I kind of like it. I think it looks cool. After seeing the World Finals paint scheme that happened this year, it kind of looks a bit similar to that, but not really, but I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look at this. Uh, we're going to start with, we always do the left one first, then the right one. So we are going to look at Gravedigger first, then we'll look at the Avenger. And I am really excited. And I forget that my the new doubles pack packaging is just too wide that I can't grip it with my hands, <laughs> which is annoying. But yeah, speaking of doubles packs, I've actually got a Hot Wheels uh, set of doubles packs that I'm going to be looking at in the near future. So get excited for that. That's going to be cool. Something a, a bit different, you know, something cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's get them out. I am so excited. Maybe, maybe we will get uh, Green Avenger this year from Spin Master. I doubt it, but maybe we will. And it'll be in a doubles pack. Who knows? All right. Here's the card art. You can see there with the really cool Avenger logo with the global sponsorship. I don't even know what global is. Uh, it's global something. I don't know. We'll look at it here in a second. 
All right, so let's get Avenger out there. We got Gravedigger. I will say, though, one thing I won't complain about is the fact that uh, with the doubles packs, I always find the whole set of doubles packs. Global Environmental and Industrial Response. So it's like in a green energy group, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, anyway, here we go. Let's start it off. So we got Gravedigger to start with here. We've got a black body, a gray, almost silver roll cage, like a gray, silver roll cage, black chassis, black tires with green rims. And it's just a typical Gravedigger. There is really nothing to see here with this. It is just the stereotypical, seen it a million times, Gravedigger. But, you know, it's Spin Master and Monster Jam, so they had to throw it in the doubles pack somewhere. So, you know what? Just get it out of the way. There you go. First truck is just a stereotypical Gravedigger. Nothing too crazy. You can't go wrong with just a simple Gravedigger. Well, I mean, you can if you're Spin Master because they need to produce like 30 million of them every year. But, all right. Next up is the truck that we obviously all care about, the Global Avenger. This thing is sick. I love this so much. Man, I love Avenger, and Spin Master doesn't. And that really sucks because, man, I I wish we got more Avengers. Just the different paint schemes and everything. Uh, apparently, that box that I bought off of Facebook has a, a, a Red World Finals Avenger in it, so that's awesome. But, man, I just wish I could get more Avengers. They're going for so expensive. We need new ones so that way I have something to get. Because, man, I just, I need them. Anyway, we got a white body. The same all-around chassis setup from the Gravedigger. Except this time we've got a, almost a more olive green shade of rims. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera there. But they are a different color. Which is really interesting. Um, and as you can see, we got the Avenger Global logo, Global, uh, the green stripes, Monster Jam Cohen, or Cohen, all that on the side. And then, of course, on the hood, it says Global Environmental and Industrial Response. I don't know what that is. Like I said, I don't know what Global is. Logo on the top, Slap and Stick and Steps Towing, all of that on the back, the two big sponsors for Avenger. And really cool, it has Jim, or Jim Kohler's name above the window, which is awesome. So yeah, there you go. That is the Global Avenger. Here's the front. You got the green headlights and the grill. Really cool. Like I gotta say, this is a quality piece and I'm really happy I got this. Like this is sick. So yeah, there you go. That is the first set right there. The Gravedigger and Global Avenger. Pretty cool. And like I said, every set that we're gonna look at today is actually pretty neat for one reason or another. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy what we got, because up next, we've got a really interesting one. It is Blue Thunder versus Full Charge. Now, what's cool about this one is we get almost a hyper-fueled uh, Blue Thunder here, which Blue Thunder should have been in the hyper-fueled line to begin with. That would have been super-duper cool. So this actually looks pretty neat. I really like this. Obviously, you know, I would have preferred a normal-looking Blue Thunder, but this still looks pretty good. This, on the other hand, is what's cool. This right here is an inverse full charge because normal full charge is pink with white lightning. This is almost a reverse of that where it's white with the pink lightning, singular white bolt full charge. So it's a bit, it's technically an inverse truck in a way, which is pretty neat. And I kind of like the way that this looks. Full charge, as you all know, is the sister truck to Blue Thunder. They are one and the same. So here we go. Let's open her up. To get her open. Speaking of Blue Thunder, that is a truck that needs to make a return. Everybody's like, oh, they need to bring back Alien Invasion and Pirates Curse. No, they need to bring back Blue Thunder is who they need to bring back because that's how did Blue Thunder go from being one of the biggest names in Monster Jam to one of the most forgettable names in Monster Jam, huh? Has anybody else ever wondered that? Because I wonder that all the time and it really, I think it's really annoying, but that's just me. And why is Todd LaDuke in Megalodon? He should be driving Blue Thunder. That is such a fitting truck for him. Blue Thunder versus Full Charge. I mean, obviously, it would be stupid to say this because obviously it's not true, but I really feel like Todd LaDuke... A lot of people say that Todd LaDuke has fallen off recently, and I think it's because they put him in Megalodon. Like, Megalodon is clearly not the truck that he belongs in. You know, he was doing great in Blue Thunder, and then they threw him in Megalodon, and everything went downhill. But anyway, here we go. We got Blue Thunder here. I love the way this looks. Like, I really do. I think this looks great. I love the colors and everything. Like I said, I would, as much as I love this, I would always prefer a realistic looking version of the truck over this, but this is still pretty neat. I like this a lot. You got the uh, Lightning, Monster Jam, Blue Thunder. You got the F-150 headlights. No grill, which I think is interesting. Usually they do a grill printing, right? 
I think my other blue thunder has a grill printing. I can't remember. Feel the energy. Uh, we got a blue body, blue roll cage, white chassis, blue tires with white rims. I don't know. It's neat. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. I like it a lot. So yeah, there you go. That's blue thunder. Pretty neat one there. And next up is the truck that I think is the, uh, the truck, the whole reason why you would buy this set. It is the inverse full charge. I really like the uh, body on full charge. I've always said that the the uh, body style on this truck has always been really cool to me. I can't pinpoint exactly what body this is supposed to, or what like car this is supposed to be. I can't exactly pinpoint it. It's giving me vet vibes though, which I know that's probably wrong. It's not, uh, the back end gives me Corvette vibes. The front end, I don't know what the front end gives me. If I look at it straight on, I don't know. I still get, I still kind of get Corvette vibes. It's like if you took every version of a Corvette ever made and crammed it all together into one, this is kind of what it would look like. I feel like, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Anyway, we've got a white body, a purple roll cage, white chassis, purple tires with white rims. Looks really, I don't know. I feel like I like the blue better. And I feel like this setup almost doesn't work really because the body's white. Whereas on the other one, the body actually matched the tire and roll cage color. On this one, it matches the uh, chassis and rim color, which looks a little goofy in my opinion, but it's whatever. Full charge Mosh Jam logo. Love the pink trim on there. That looks really neat. Yeah. Do I like this more than the original for full charge? No. I like the original one a lot better. This is still pretty cool though. Like I really do like the idea here. And yeah, there you go. That is the full charge right there. Pretty neat. Pretty sick. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's that one. Okie dokie. Next up, we've got arguably the most basic set here. Um, this one I could see people being saying is probably their least favorite just because the trucks have been done so many times. But next up, we got Octanator versus Crush Station. Um, obviously, the, the trick for this one is it's, you know, the uh, ocean life. You got an octopus versus a lobster. How could you go wrong with that? The cool thing is, though, this will be my first ever opened crustacean. I'm really hyped about that. And this one will be my first ever somewhat normal looking octinator because my other two ones that I have, one has blue tires and the other one has translucent tires. Not too realistic. Unless if, you know, Kevin King drove octinator, then it would probably have blue tires because that was his signature. But let's do it. We need, we need Kevin King... Kevin King's trucks made into die cast, man. I know that uh, Hot Wheels did straight, ja or not straight jacket. They did uh, sudden impact. I don't think they ever did sudden impact with the blue tires though. And we need straight jacket. Like obviously it's shocking that we've never gotten a straight jacket die cast, but. And then I think it was, and then Kevin King did all of the, we almost got fluffy from Hot Wheels. I remember that we almost got Kevin King's uh, fluffy. That would have been cool. Would have been cool if we could have got those. And then just recently, I think it was Kevin King brought back to life. Was it Flash Fire, Wildfire, Fire, Firestorm? I can't remember what the name of the truck was, but it was purple with a gold uh, word. Or the name was in gold on the side. And I can't, all of a sudden, I cannot remember for the life of me what the name of the truck was. Here we have Octinator. I actually really like the way that this looks. I don't know about you, but I think the silver really complements the maroon. Like, I, I just think it looks... Man, I really like this. This looks awesome. Holy crap. This is a solid piece. I like it. So we got a maroon body, a silver roll cage, maroon chassis, black tires with maroon rims. And yeah, like I said, this thing is... This is a work of art. I love this. Just something... I don't know what it is. Just something about this looks really, really good, in my opinion. Also... We got Sparkle Smash as a real truck before Octinator. I don't even know how that happened. Octinator was like set up to be a real truck and everything. Then Kraken came along and now we got the, you know, Sparkle Donkey. And it's just like, oh my God, you know, Glitter Donkey, my bad. And it's just like, what What happened? My boy Octinator got shunned. What happened? But uh, yeah, Spin Master, if you're going to make another real life truck or Monster Jam Feld, if you're going to make another Spin Master toy into a real truck, please do Octinator. I think all of the boys out there as collectors would love to see this thing become a real truck. Like the body is just super duper cool. The one thing I will say though, that I don't like about the Octavator die cast is because uh, in the Spin Master Monster, or in the, not, sorry, in Monster Jam Steel Titans 2, Octavator actually has its name written on the side panels. The die cast doesn't. If I were to request 
a change to the Octonator truck, please put the name on it somewhere. I would really, I think that would really make the truck look official and cool. But yeah, that's my spiel for the Octonator there. Let's move on to a truck that does exist in real life and recently got a bad rap or has always gotten a bad rap because of stuff that is, this truck is cursed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this truck has the captain's curse on it, I'm pretty sure. And that is Crustacean, the Monster Lobster. Uh, red body, we got a, again, the silver chassis. This doesn't look as good. I think the maroon works a lot better with the silver. I still think it looks neat, but you know. Red chassis, black tires with red rims, Monster Jam Crustacean. Uh, and then of course on the tail, it says Monster Lobster, which is hilarious in that Boston accent. Got the eyes, and then of course the it says right there McLaughlin Seafood with the caution tape rubber bands wrapped around the claws, which looks really really cool. And again, yes, as I said, this is a this is a real life monster truck. This does exist, and it has been racing for a long time. And the thing that always makes me laugh about this truck, and I'm gonna go get it real quick. I've just always found it really interesting that you got Crustacean here, the Monster Lobster, and its teammate truck is Lumberjack, the logging truck. These two have nothing in common. But yeah, these these two are a real life duo that you would see. And yeah, I, I don't know. I've just always found that really interesting that those two are teammates. It's just, it's just like you wouldn't expect those two to be a pair. It's kind of like how Barbarian has a new teammate truck called Crusheroo. It's a kangaroo with boxing gloves because, you know, that matches the Viking vibe a lot. <laughs> Next up, we have two, uh, the final set here, which is Racing Stripes versus Rainbow Blast. So I think, the you know, I think it's kind of obvious why these two were paired together, right? You got Racing Stripes, which is black and white against Rainbow Blast, which is color. I think it's pretty obvious why these two were paired together. Now, the cool thing is, is I do not have a racing stripes in my collection. So this will be my first one here. And then Rainbow Blast I have already. The cool thing is, between the Rainbow Blast that I have and this one, the Rainbow Blast that I have has a black chassis. This one has a purple chassis. So the neat thing is, is that they were able to change it up slightly so you can buy this and not have the same truck. So yeah, anyway, let's do this. Racing stripes and Rainbow Blast. Rainbow Blast is a cool one. As I've always said, I've always loved Rainbow Blast. I think it's an awesome truck. Um, it was created, and again, I say this every time Rainbow Blast is brought up, and I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but Rainbow Blast, I'm pretty sure, was created by the daughter of somebody on the Spinmaster Monster Jam design team. I think. Again, that could be wrong because I'm not 100% sure on that. Racing Stripes, Rainbow Blaster. I love the logos on both those trucks. I think they look great. So that's what I think the story is. I'm actually not 100% sure, but I gotta be honest, I absolutely love it. I think it's cool. It's such a unique truck. It's it's unique while also super simple at the same time, and I really like it. So yeah. Anyway, here is the Racing Stripes, the Zebra. Again, I've always said it. Spin Master needs to quit with the horse casting. We've got like, what, seven different horses now? We've got... We've got Racing Stripes, Horsepower, uh, Sparkle Smash, Aqua Stallion, Nightmare. We got Tempest Steed. And there's another one, right? There's another horse that I'm forgetting. Horsepower, Sparkle Smash, Nightmare, Aqua Stallion, Racing Stripes, Tempest Steed. That might be it. I think I think that there's only six. I say only six. There's six, okay? We, we don't need any more horses. Stop with the horse casting. This is getting ridiculous. Anyway, here we go, racing stripes. So we got, you know, a white body, right? Yep, white body. We've got a white chassis, or white body, white roll cage, black chassis, black tires with white rims. It just, it looks good. Like as a display piece, I really like it. I don't know. Uh, the horse's teeth are yellow, the zebra teeth are yellow, which I think is really interesting. Uh, I love the mane, the fact that they made the mane and the ears and the tail all custom, so that way it was all unique. I think that's really cool. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say there. I really don't have anything else to say. Just simple, just a zebra. But yeah, there's racing stripes. First ever racing stripes in my collection. Kind of excited for that one. Um, do, 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 do. Let me look real quick and get the next one, which is rainbow blast i was thinking if they were to make another 
uh, horse casting into a truck. The only one I think I could genuinely excuse is if they did it for the Halloween truck this year and made like Dark Horse or something. That is the only way I think I could excuse it. But even then, they would have to make it really, really cool. If they went subpar with that, it would be, it would just be infuriating. But anyway, here is the Rainbow Blast, a truck that I will always sing the praises of because this thing is sick. Um, I will say the body itself is awesome. I love the design on the body itself. I've always said that it's really cool and it would look great on a normal chassis. Everything underneath it, though, is also pretty sweet. I think the black chassis looks a lot better, though, than the purple. Because if you look, it's got every color of the rainbow. You've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue on the tires, purple roll cage, and then you've got a black front end and a white black end, or white <laughs> white back end. But yeah, Rainbow Blast, it's it's cool. It's genuinely cool. I gotta say, I, I love this truck a lot. I think it's really, really sweet. But yeah, there you go. That is the final truck for today's video. Let's bring them all back up, everybody. Bring up all of tonight's monster truck competitors for the final end goodbye when we say farewell for today's video it was a lot of fun i gotta say like i said this is a really good set of doubles packs i like this pack a lot it is insane the trucks in here are just it's just an all-around amazing set like i just have nothing but good things to say here so there we go that is the entire Almost. I gotta get the, I gotta get the grave digger up here and then we'll be good to go. So there you go. That is the entire set of doubles packs for today's video. I gotta say, really good, really solid. I, I really like this one a lot. I think it's great. But yeah, so that is that is that. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. From top to bottom, we got Grave Digger, Avenger, Blue Thunder, Full Charge, Octonator, Crust Station, Racing Stripes, and Rainbow Blast. So yeah. That's it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will uh, see you all in the next Diecast unboxing video. The uh, next set of Spin Master trucks for the doubles packs isn't very good. I'm just going to give you a heads up right now. The set that comes after this is not great. So I will see you there when we go to review that. Thank you, and good night.